Lagos State releases white paper on NSAS protest. Counters report of its own panel says only one person died at the Lekki Tollgate on October 20, 2020. Governor Babaji de Sumrolu calls for a work of peace to heal the wounds of NSAS protests, but celebrities snub his invitation. And the All Progressives Congress APC faces one of its biggest tests as fleet with two Kataka Extraordinary Convention Planning Committees and two chairmen. The newest chairman will be live with us this morning. Hello and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. And it's great to have you join us this beautiful morning. Thanks once again. I am Messi Ibopo. All right, uh, Messi, we'll, we'll start uh, the show this morning with what's trending all over the social media spaces as indeed the world uh, with Lagos uh, being one of the top trending um, issues of uh, discussion for most Nigerians. Uh, the Lagos state government, uh, you know, was in the news with the release of the white paper, you know, and of course asking some popular Nigerians, you know, to join in uh, peace walk. Messi, yesterday the Lagos state government addressed them, um, oppressed uh, conference and indeed uh, invite, uh, called out uh, several uh, popular Nigerians, uh, comedians and uh, uh, Fowles was there, uh, Mr. Macaroni, uh, popular lawyer, Dele Farutimi and others, you know, to join in the peace walk, you know, to heal the land, to heal the city of Lagos after all that has happened. But one particular thing that stands out from all of that from yesterday is that the state governor is actually denying its own panel that it's constituted saying that uh, just one person was killed as against some um, the nine as earlier you know reported by the panel so um what has actually happened is what a lot of nigerians were anticipating i mean no one would actually if you remember vividly we have always asked the question of how can you be a person of interest in your own case so first of all you are being accused of course, however, the fingers saying, um, you know, he's responsible, who made the call and all of that. So, and then at the end of the day, after all that happened, you set up, uh, what do you expect? You set up a panel and the panel would actually submit this report to you. You can't be a judge in your own case. And that's what's applicable, you know, if you ask a legal practitioner in the law, it, you know, what do you expect? No justice. So um, it, it is not shocking to me. I actually expected it. And a lot of Nigerians as well had also said that uh, they were not even sure that, mm. you know, they would live by it. Because on right. the other hand, and oh, you, you, let's not also forget that when the, um, you know, the report leaked, everyone constantly said it was a leak report. You also mm -hmm. have, you know, uh, the chief of uh, defense staff, if I'm not mistaken, saying, oh, it didn't go through the appropriate channel. And that's because you, we can't right. say the signature, you know, there, were no sig there was no signature on it and what have you. But, you know, like some expert had actually questioned the okay, fact that... Must, but let's, uh, uh, before we go for that, we understand that there is a track, uh, you know. Let's take um, that particular track at uh, the Lagos State Governor, Babajde Songolu, uh, addressing um, the press yesterday, uh, just before uh, the white paper was released. This month of December, I'll be leading a walk of peace to herald the healing of our land. Let me therefore use this occasion to extend an open invitation to all of our youths, members of the diplomatic corps, civil society groups, students, gentlemen of the press, media, and other stakeholders to join me. I want for life, Palano, popularly called Faust. I would want Debo Adebayo, Mr. Macaroni. I would want an activist lawyer, Mr. Dele Farutimi. I would want Timi Tokwe Maja Kudumi. I would want Mr. Shegun Awosonya. I would want Adetong, just Adetong, who draws me every day. I would want legendary son of Fela Sheonkuti. I will also want the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Akim Udumusu. I want the Commander of the RRS, CSP Yinka Egbeyemi. 
to join me on this historic march for Abia Lagos. October 20, 2020 is one that the government and residents of Lagos State cannot forget in a hurry. The reminders are still very visible across the state. And SARS protesters had a grip on the city. Apparently, hoodlums hijacked it, burning down perceived government infrastructure and those of its cronies. At the Lekki Tour Gate, soldiers allegedly shot at peaceful protesters who had gathered there for days. This resulted in avoidable loss of lives. This led to the setting up of a judicial panel of inquiry by Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu. The panel was to investigate Ami's involvement in the protest. The panel was led by a retired judge, Doris Okuobi. The report was submitted on November 15 after a year-long sitting. Apparently, the report got leaked even before Governor Sawunlu could see the content. It is, however, regrettable that the panel's work and the leakage of an unauthorized version of the report has generated tension. Sadly, a deep wound has been reopened. The heated exchanges among various shades of opinion on the report have unfortunately put us at the risk of meeting the larger picture. Sawunlu insists that the leaked version of the report is nothing but falsehood and has asked Lagosians to discard it. To become a champion of prejudices is to own a fleeting and a false victory. It is a victory of rancor over reason, of vengeance over justice, of hunger over compassion. Today, I stand before you to declare that I reject this part, and I invite you all to do the same. The choice confronting us today is between restoring a greater harmony or doing a greater harm. Sawuno reiterates that the government has no intention to further inflame passion on a matter that has generated intense interest and controversy nationally and internationally. He has promised that decisions and actions will be based entirely on the law, the weight of evidence, and an unblemished respect for the truth. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyeduku for Plus TV Africa. All right, welcome back. And that's uh, what just happened uh, yesterday uh, when the state government addressed um, the press as regards to uh, the release of um, the white paper. And he invited, uh, he called out to several celebrities, you know, to come out and join um, a peace walk. And um, they have since uh, snubbed, you know, that particular invitation, which, uh, you know, MC Macaroni uh, saying that he isn't coming. And, uh, of course, Faust described the invitation as a joke. Uh, um, for me, it's really bravery. Of course, Sheukuti has also dropped his thoughts. He said that he'd rather work a work of justice uh, and not that that he's called for. It's really, really sad. Like I mentioned earlier on, you can't be a judge in your own case and expect a different no, result. So there will be sentiment and it was expected. Uh, but, you know, usually when Nigerians actually predict what the Nigerian government or, you know, the state government would do, uh, we expect that they would act differently, but they, they always never fail and they always act. It's really, really sad because people actually lost their lives. I mean, that report, you constituted that report, your own panel. And now you're saying that the people that you actually put together, I mean, you look at the caliber of persons in that particular panel, uh, you are saying that all that they came out with is false. After how many, 365 days again? Over, yeah, over, yeah. And, and, and that's what the people get. But it's really, it's really, really sad. It's, it's really it disappointing. It is, it is, it is and sad, well, how do you now call for a work of peace? How do you now say you want a just city? Let, let's quickly you know, run through the thoughts of Files. He says, the suggestion of a work for peace sounds like a joke and a very and very disrespectful one at that. People were mothered in cold blood and absolutely no iota of justice has been served more than a year after. How can there be peace without justice? In this same 
speech, you said to be a smart city, we must first be a just one. Remember the young Nigerians that had their lives snatched away by weapons wielded by our own army forces. You want to sweep that under the carpet? Is that how to establish a just city? And uh, there's also a hashtag enters. Young Nigerians still today are being constantly harassed and extorted by police officers and you were awfully quiet about that one or are you not aware hashtag answers really really bad and that's uh, you know one thought for um, uh, fouls you also point. have the other one but time will not permit us you know to run through all of the thoughts the truth is you can't have peace without justice yeah. and that's what we constantly say if you look at the entire country a lot of people are getting away with so much you look at the bandits you look at people who are committing crime and criminality and all, all that this does it, it, it emboldens the people so what happens? Because I will constantly still act, even with the report and the fact that, yes, we congratulate the panel for doing a great job, but you still still find some gray areas. Mm. I mean, the borders, where, where are the bodies of this person? Where, where are they taken to? Uh, how do the, 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 the persons who have lost their loved ones, how do they reconcile? How do they find peace and solace? All of these questions are left unanswered. And now you come to say that just one person's dead. It is really, really sad. If and of course, an another disappointment to, to like again. Oceans. Also, also trending, uh, making headlines um, around uh, various spaces uh, is a uh, Kaduna train fare. It has actually skyrocketed over time, and the um, passengers are actually lamenting that they have had to pay as much as um, 15 to 20,000 naira, and the online ticketing platform has shot down. Master, it is really a very, 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 you know, annoying. Uh, in a situation to, um, to think that uh, the train ticket which goes for about 2,600 is now up, um, from 10, 15, as much as uh, 20, and there's some uh, racketeering um, ongoing across that particular space, all because uh, a lot of people are moving towards um, the rail system when the roads in itself are, are they're not even uh, secure. You know, no, it was, it, it was because of, of the incidents. Yeah. And um, you know, attacks on that particular highway. It, it was because of, you know, the constant attack. I mean, oh. let's not forget that reports has that over four days, uh, you have constant attack on that road, kidnappings. And mm -hmm. so people would always want to, you know, use the other means of alternative means of transportation. What and that's the real system? system. So at the end of the day, you can't tell me that this is, you know, the, uh, what's it called again? Uh, the law of demand and supply it taking place not, in natural. Is but this is this total so exploitation. One, yes. Because right now you can't tell me that because bandits are actually attacking the people and then all of a sudden, the, you know, the, the fair online price, platform just went, just uh, shut down. You're deciding to use, you know, uh, terrorists mm. to improve the IGR. It is really, really sad. At this point in time, when you find out that there's inflation, a lot is going on. How many persons, you know, can afford... How many persons do have money in their possession to actually mm -hmm. go about their businesses? I mean, make purchase. Because it's one thing to say you want something. It's another thing for you to back that with, you know, the True. power. Mm. And that's money, of course, mm. if you can now afford it. So this is really, really wrong. It is, it I mean, is, I remember is, a time very, where very um, we had um, the MD of the corporation. Uh, I had a one-on-one -on -one with him. And the question I asked was, because there was an eminent, not very prominent, but, you know, an eminent attack at that time, uh, when we boarded that train. And I raised the question of, uh, are there provisions to ensure that, uh, you know, these rail tracks are protected? Mm -hmm. And the question is, yes, we do have patrol. Not, you know, the answer wasn't quite convincing and very, very uh, satisfactory, if you want to ask me. But however, you see, we don't pay attention to all of this thing. And there's no way we're going to take out the fact that security is, is still in the exclusive list. It is not my responsibility to provide security, no, it is and so we cannot rule. We cannot rule that out as much as we want to. As much as we want to act like you know, that's a different thing entirely. We cannot rule the fact that government's responsibility across the entire globe is ensuring that lives and properties are protected. True. And so this is not a time where you begin to extort the people and increase the you know the the fare of ticket. And saying that that's because, you know, the online platform, actually, sure. I, I think that we can do better as a people. I'm hoping, you know, that uh, those who are fixed. saddled with the responsibility will just, you know, sweep into action and do the needful. This is not a time that we should be acting in this way because Nigerians are going through a lot right now. No, we are. And indeed, the fact that um, the online platform is down, I mean, there should be alternative. I mean, they should have a plan B, a plan C. But a lot of people actually, you know, making the most of the system failure to racketeer, to, you know, make a fast one out of all Nigerians' mercy. At the end of the day, you find out that if you don't come on time, um, uh, you just come, you have to go to the black market to get um, all of uh, 
uh, you know, your ticket just to be able to make your trip. Again, uh, Barbados is also in the news, and this time around, they have uh, become, um, or the country that is, um, has become a uh, republic as they have parted ways with the Queen of England. Mercy, it is really a very wonderful, it was a very, very wonderful uh, uh, ceremony yesterday. You know, popular um, artist Rihanna was there, you know, and of course, um, Prince Harry was also there. And uh, right now, they have their own president. Now, very important uh, standout for me is the fact that uh, colonial rule has actually ended it entirely has. in it the has. second it phase. Has. After over 400 years, we're looking mm -hmm. at 396 years mm -hmm. of that colonial rule. They're breaking ties, uh, you know, with uh, the Queen of England. Uh, th that's uh, the, the British Queen. Uh, it's a great one. So, first of all, uh, another one for me, again, is the fact that, you know, women are actually the first time you mm -hmm. have, uh, you know, a Caribbean country. Uh, having the first female, female president, president and prime minister, uh, what's her name again? Uh, what's her name again? What's her name again? Uh, Sandra, Sandra Mason. Sandra Mason. Sandra, yeah. The Sandra S Mason. Dame Sandra Mason, yes. So, so, so that's it. So for me, and then the fact that you also have Rihanna becoming a national hero compared with that particular title. So um, I think that women, uh, are, it's a plus for women across the entire globe. And also, you might also be interested to know that, you know, North America, but with some ancestry to Africa. So it means a lot. It means a lot to the entire world. Yes. And I'm and saying congratulations. As well. Yeah, I'm saying congratulations to them mm. and to every other person. But let's not also forget that uh, the Queen is still actually the Queen in about 15 countries, Australia, Canada. Most of the and we're hoping countries. that, you yeah. know, uh, they would get some kind of liberation at the end of the day. The, 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 good, the good thing for me, the big one for me, is that after all of these years, indeed, that they can actually manage their own affairs, uh, decide how they want to go as a country, you know, what direction they want to, you know, follow. They'll just have to make their own policies, and then indeed, and indeed, um, they will just uh, be a wonderful people. Uh, we have a track uh, on that particular report. Let's see it, and we'll come back and round off on this particular segment. The, the, the number plate on the vehicle. Yes, quite. I was the, leaving that the, for you to. It, it has the, the, the crown. Yes. When the president elect arrives, the number plate will say GG. GG. However, mm -hmm. in suspense is when she's leaving. Okay. We'll... There he is, His Royal Highness. He. The Barbados Cadet Corps, the Boy Scouts Association of Barbados, the St. John Ambulance Association of Barbados. And we can see overhead the arrival of Her Excellency Dame Sandra Mason. Yes, only the parade commander will pay compliments. No colors are on parade. No colors are on parade at this stage. Not at this stage. Uh, because she is still technically the <laughs> Queen's representative and no, those the, colours have been retired. The, the, the colours yes. <laughs> have been retired and yeah. been marched off of yeah. parade. And um, I, I, mean, I, I dare not say this, but you, you could get a situation where she is in one. We, the people of Barbados, in unity of hearts, hands and minds. I... Sandra Prunella Mason, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law, so help me God. I, Sandra Prunella Mason, do swear that I will well and truly serve Barbados in the office of president, so help me God. You want me to go across this?
Ladies and gentlemen, Her Excellency, the Most Honorable, Dame Sandra Prunella Mason, President of Barbados. All right, congratulations to Dame Mason and of course Rihanna and indeed all of them, the Barbadians who are now uh, their own um, Republicans as um, it were. Uh, that's as much as we can take on Top Trend and we'll be taking a quick break when we return. We'll have um, Tunde Kolawale joining us on Off the Press. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.